South Florida is known for its big events, but with the coronavirus on the public's mind, officials are now weighing if holding those events are worth the risk. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at Miami International Airport with that part of that team coverage. We've got a lot of big events coming up, Hank. Well, they are, and of course, uh, has Ultra been canceled or has it been postponed? Well, talking to tourism officials, uh, they say it's been postponed likely till next year. But uh, yes, reaction coming in. Let's take a look. Miami is a big event town. The Ultra Music Festival, huge. There's a Miami Open Tennis Tournament, Calle Ocho. All these events attract mega crowds, great for business, but in this time of the coronavirus, they all present major dilemmas for public officials, worried about public safety in the face of a rapidly spreading virus. The public concerned. I can tell you that just in the last 24 hours, I have received countless of emails, um, messages on all kinds of, of fronts, urging the city to act. Ultra is postponed. Florida Senator Marco Rubio reacting to the Ultra Music Festival decision. If you're bringing in a bunch of people from all over the world and you're potentially bringing in 50 to 100 cases, not only are you risking spreading it, but you're actually you know, risking overwhelming your, your medical system, your health care system with a bunch of new cases. So I think it's a prudent decision to make. This reaction from Bill Talbert from the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Well, they uh, ultra. They had a one-year contract with the city. We were involved in that. That's very important to the downtown hoteliers. So that's going to roll over till next year. So they haven't canceled it. They just postponed this first year. They've been here before. So I think it's part of their longer-term uh, intentions. But uh, we're sorry to see them go. Uh, we wish they'd have stayed. But the good news is they'll be back next year. The state of Florida has tested nearly 100 folks and results are pending for 69 others. There are going to be inconveniences. There's just no other way around it. I mean, that, that's, that's what had these outbreaks and these pandemics, and the, the, that's what it creates. And what we need to do is weather through it and do the best we can to make sure we don't, it's not worse than it needs to be. Well, back live here, we can tell you the state of Florida is monitoring 250 additional folks. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.